What is up? It is me, SB, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, SB Beauty. So today's video is going to be a little something different. I was scrolling through my videos on YouTube and I realized I never did an introduction, a get to know me, anything like that. Why? I don't know. So I figured this is the perfect time to do like a little Q&A, get to know me, um, introduction video. So I did ask some questions on my one of my Facebook groups on Instagram as well as I found some really good questions on Pinterest. So I'm going to answer those questions so you guys can get to know me. I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay to the end if you want to know who I am. So I have my questions written down on a piece of paper um, and I don't have on my glasses and I don't have my contacts in. So if you see me squinting, I am blind as a bat. So yes, that is what I'm doing. So let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, what is my name? My initials are SB. So my first name is Shakela. My last initial starts with a B. And then the second question is, what is my sign? So I am a Gemini. Yes, bring all the hate. I don't know why y'all hate us Geminis. Because we didn't do nothing to you. You are probably the reason you hate us. Geminis are some of the sweetest people. I'm sorry, let me clarify. May Geminis are some of the sweetest people. The June Geminis are psychopaths. Yes. May Geminis, we are very sweet until you make us not sweet. So I am a Gemini. My birthday is May 23rd. And I, I'm not a crazy Gemini. I'm a normal Gemini. Whatever that may mean. Um, the next question is your age. I am 28 years old and next year I will be 29. And that is insane to me because I was just 21. I don't know where time went, but it went, okay? Um, height, I am 5'3". I like to pretend like I'm six feet though. Favorite rapper? Who is your favorite rapper and what is your favorite song? So personally, I am from Detroit. My favorite rapper is Sada Baby. He's a Detroit rapper. My favorite songs, I would say to this week would be Black Harlow, Five Pac Shakur, and Scuba Steve Boston. That's what's been on replay this week for me. So that's what I would go with. The next question is, what is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is people pretending to be kind, but kind of giving you a compliment sandwich, if you know what that is. So that's basically downing you, but trying to make it seem like a compliment. Like, he 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 you always wear that shirt or you the only one can rock that shirt or i don't know like that secret hate that secret animosity that is what i hate the secret animosity the next question is relationship status i am currently in a long-term relationship he is a june gemini yes two gemini I get the craziest looks every time I say that. But the next question is friends, question mark. This is a good one. I don't know what they're asking. So I'm just going to assume they mean like, do I have friends? So I am a person, I am a loner. I'm a lone wolf. I like to be by myself. I will go to dinner by myself. I will go to the movies by myself. I will do anything by myself. I do have friends. I can probably I probably have about five friends um, and those friends are more family so I will say I don't have friends I have family and I have acquaintances you know how you have those friends you talk to I have my friends I talk to every on a week on a daily or weekly basis every day or every week it just depends because I'm also the person who when I'm in a certain mode I do not like to talk I don't want to talk on the phone you will probably get a text back out of me but nine times out of ten, I'm not going to answer my phone. But um, 
I have about five friends that I talk to on a daily or weekly basis. Um, I do have other friends that are like lifelong friends from school. We don't really talk, but every couple of months or couple of years, we kind of catch up and we have that time we catch up and you know, we bounce back like we never really left, if that makes sense. Um, pick up where we left off. That's what I'm looking for. Um, but I am not really a, oh my God, I have so many friends. I want too many friends around person, personally. And that is just because how I grew up in middle school and high school, the females, the attitudes, the drama, hated it. No. So yes. The next question is, what are your favorite TV shows? I have a lot of TV shows I love. Um, we're going to start off with Friends. Modern Family, and How I Met Your Mother, How I Met Your Father, which is only on Hulu, um, Pretty Little Liars, NCIS, um, Law and Order SVU, period, because Olivia Benson been out here. I really hope they add Stabler back to the SVU. And him and Olivia can be kind of partners again in a little bit. I don't know how they're going to work that. But, you know, Dick will call me if you need some episode ideas. But, anywho. So, those are my favorite shows. But, I do have other shows that I watch. Like, I just started getting off into Reba. And that show funny. I like that show. But, it's not one of my favorites just yet. Um, and murder mystery videos. Like, YouTube videos. Or, um, Killer Kids. I'm not going to get into the detail because it's never like I will rewatch the episodes. Those are more so like I watch one time and I'm good. I know what I know. I'm good. The next question is favorite movie. Off the top of the head, Shrek. Shrek 1 though. Shrek 1 is my favorite movie, okay? That is my comfort movie. I can watch that movie. I can recite that movie word for word, okay? I love Shrek. Um, The first one, like I said... The third one is funny and then the second one, but the third and the second one are not really in my favorite category. So I would say Shrek 1, um, Bad Boys 2, 3, and the last one, um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, that Johnson Family Vacation. The next question is what are your hobbies? So personally, I am a very creative person and that is just my outlet. That is just what I like. So anything creative, I like to color, I like to paint, I like to make stuff, I like to do planner stuff. Um, as you can see, I have this little setup. This dresser back here is full of planner stuff, planner supplies, stickers, washi tape, you name it, it's in there. Um, makeup, cause like, I like to paint my face. Other hobbies, cooking, I like to cook. But I like to cook new dishes. I don't like to cook the same meal over and over. And then I'm also open to new hobbies. I will try anything once that does not involve tube slides, bungee jumping, jumping out of an airplane, roll, anything with heights. I'm scared of heights and I'm claustrophobic. Anything closed in, anything that's high, I won't do it. Anything else, I will most definitely try it. The next question is define success <sighs> to me success is not a dollar amount to me success is when at the end of the day you can come home you can relax you don't have to worry about tomorrow you don't have to worry about what needs to be done you don't need to worry about the bills being paid the groceries being paid and you are doing what you love and you are genuinely happy with working <clears throat> with working wherever you're working or whatever business you own you're genuinely happy doing that you wake up every day excited to do that or happy doing that um that would be my form of what i classify as success because you can wake up every day and absolutely hate your job and make five hundred thousand dollars a year five hundred thousand okay yeah five hundred thousand dollars a year 
that's not success. You have money, but you're not successful. And what is money and what is success if you can't share that? My definition of success would be when you can wake up every morning doing what you love and making money off of it and also just doing what you love as hobbies with who you love and be genuinely happy and wake up every morning happy and not worry about tomorrow. The next question is, what is your love language? For me, because I am a softy, y'all, I'm a hopeless romantic. I like to cake. So, physical touch, um, I love little romantic gestures. It does not cost anything to do something romantic. Um, quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation. Three. The next question is, what are three fears that you have? Um, I believe I said earlier in this video, I am scared of tube slides. Yes, I genuinely, I fear tube slides. I used to get in them when I was younger. The last time I got in a tube slide, I was probably like 19. But I'm scared of tube slides now. Why? I don't know. I'm claustrophobic now. I don't know why. So I don't like closed in spaces. My three fears would be suffocating in an enclosed space like a tube slide or something of that nature um my next fear would be growing old with no one i mean growing old with no one as if if i don't have kids you know my family's not around and like, I just get put in a nurse home and just left there. Who go put me in a nurse home if I don't have kids though? Like, her fear is honestly the end of the world. And I say this because the end is very close. I am 28, I still have a lot of life. I would like for the world not to end in the middle of my life. I would like to finish my life out and see how life plays out, you know? That got really dark really quick. Yeah, it did. So the next question is, what are three things that you love? Um, Three things that I love. I love my puppy. Like, I really love my booty boots. I love having my own space. I love being able to be at home in my own space when I don't want to deal with nobody, when I don't want to deal with the world. And I am able to just sit here in my feelings or in my thoughts and really just feel comfortable and 100% free. The next question is what are three turn ons? For me, three turn ons is, and it can, this doesn't necessarily have to be with a man, just a person in general. Um, a person who knows how to communicate because a lot of times we don't know how to communicate a lot of times when you are getting into it with your friends or your family it's because you don't know how, you have these big feelings and you don't know how to communicate but you can come and you can say hey you did this and this made me feel this way simple so i would say communication um a good personality like i love a person with a that care about others um that would be something that makes me very interested whether it's a, in a friend or in a, my boyfriend but i love a person who cares about others not necessarily care what others think of them but care about others in general I would say, and then a person who wants to be whatever it is that they are to you. And by that, I mean, you want to be in a relationship with a man who wants to be in a relationship with a woman or you as a woman, or you want to have, you want to have a kid with a person who wants to be a father and a husband versus just marrying someone who wants to be married, if that makes sense. You want to build a friendship with someone who wants a genuine friendship. 
and not someone just that like friends. Yeah. Three turn offs. Three turn offs. Always in some drama, whether it's a boy, a boy or a friend, just always in drama. Always in tune with somebody, always arguing with somebody. No, I don't. For men, like for a relationship, I do not like flashy men. Like, I don't care how many bust downs you got. You do not need to wear all 13 of them chains, baby. I do not like a flashy man. I don't like a, a I would say this. I don't like a bust down roly type of man. Like, cause why? I don't like a, oh, I got money type of person, type of man. And I don't mean as a boyfriend or as a man. I mean, as a person to be around. I hate flashy men just being around. Like, you're annoying. Bye. Um, another turn off, they don't know anything but street sling. Like, no. No. That, that right there. That bothers me. The next question. How many tattoos or piercings do you have? Currently, I have three tattoos and four piercings. The next question is something that I really want. For me, I really just want peace. I really just want peace. I don't want to have the anxiety. I don't want to overthink anymore. I just genuinely want to be happy and just want peace in my life. And... I do want wealth and success and all of that, but I feel like all of that will come with peace and discipline. That discipline needs to be the first thing that I want. The next question is the last song that I listened to. Um, I cannot remember. It was either I Need You Now by, I wanna say Smokey Northfield. Three things that upset me. Three things that upset me. For one, when I'm already having a bad day and my clothes or something snag on the doorknob or the dresser. Like that genuinely, that will send me into a blind rage. Like I see nothing but red. Like that snag is like equivalent to you having a bad day and a stranger's walking up to you and hemming you up for no reason. That is what that snack is equivalent to. Um, something else that makes me upset, technology. I'm getting old. I'm not tech savvy. I hate when I'm trying to do something and if I don't want to do something else or I don't know how to do something I'm trying to look it up and I'm not understanding what they're telling me to do. People who mistreat their pets People mistreat their dogs and their cats, well, and their pets in general, because those are still living things. They still have a life and you're mistreating them. How would you feel if you were locked in a cage all day and fed kibble the same thing every day for the little bit of years that you have left on the, that you have on the earth? Like, I hate people who mistreat their animals. Next question is someone I miss. Who is someone you miss? So someone I miss, the person I miss the most is my father. Um, my father raised me and he got sick in 2017. Um, he got really sick and he eventually passed away in 2019. And it's been five years that I have not talked to my father and I haven't heard his voice in real time. And I haven't seen him and I haven't touched him and I haven't smelt him. And I haven't had those conversations with him. And now that I'm older and I'm in the area I am in my life, I want to be able to reach out to him for that guidance and for that advice. And unfortunately, I cannot. So I just ask God that he always is there to guide me. If I'm making the wrong, wrong decisions, that he is there to guide me. So, yes. Favorite holiday. 
my favorite holiday is Halloween. I love spooky season. I don't like scary season. I don't like the scary stuff. I like spooky. I don't like to watch scary movies. I don't watch scary movies. I watch Disney Halloween movies. I watch the teen Halloween movies. A favorite season. My favorite season is fall because of course Halloween is starting to cool off and it's not as hot as summer. It's not as cold as winter. Um, and then again, because Halloween's right there. Is what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the elephant. Yes, I know it is elephant, but I call them elephants. I love elephants. I have loved elephants ever since I was younger. Um, my dream in life is to own a pet elephant named Eleanor. However, it is illegal in the United States to own an elephant as a pet. So thank you, America, for killing my dreams. Something that you, that is, what is something that is currently worrying you? <sighs> something that is currently worrying, worrying me is the United States. You have the wars. I feel like World War III is most definitely about to start if it has not already started. Um, you have the hurricanes in Florida. You have the food system. The, the food system is worrying me the most because why are we eating lab grown food? Why is the fruit and vegetables not fruit and vegetables anymore? Why is my apple dipped in thousand boots? Why is my apple dipped in coats of wax? You know, the next question is, what is a future goal that I have for myself? Um, a future goal that I have for myself is creating a family, um, getting married and having children and creating a stable lifestyle and a stable home for my children. Also being wealthy. And I don't necessarily mean just money wealthy. Um, I mean just in general wealthy. Wealthy in health, 100% healthy. Wealthy in health, um, wealthy in family, wealthy in children, wealthy in my relationship, wealthy in my marriage, wealthy as in money, yes. Wealthy as in wealth as in knowledge. Like wealth means so much more than just money. So I would say my future goal is to be wealthy in all aspects of life and be happy. Next question is, do I have any talents? I feel like I am talented in many ways. I can do nails, I can do makeup, I can draw, I can paint, I can create anything, I can design anything, I can decorate a home, I can cook, I can... I think I can, I'm very talented. I can do a lot of different things. I am flexible. I, the only thing that I cannot do is freaking sing and dance. Sing and dance. If I could sing, my goal would have been a singer. I would have loved to be a singer. But I can't sing. And I mean, I can't sing not even a little bit. Not even, like they asked me to be in the church choir when I was younger and I knew I could not do that. Who do you know in the church choir that can really sing? So yeah. Um, What would be the perfect date? Like I said before, I am a hopeless romantic. Like, like I said, I am a hopeless romantic. I love the romantic stuff. My perfect date would just be something thoughtful and something where it's no phones, it's just us quality time and in the moment. And being told those affirmations, just in the moment. And honestly, this is about to sound so cheesy I don't even care but to kiss in the rain and not necessarily like oh it's raining outside let's go outside and kiss but like just so happen to get caught in that moment where it is raining and you get to share a kiss in the rain like maybe I'm just too romantic at this point but I don't care like the perfect date is just something thoughtful a quality time quality conversation in the in the night a kiss in the rain like perfect 
Yeah. I'm really a cake. The next question is, what is the last thing that you do before going to sleep? Personally, me, I turn on my TV timer to go off. So I usually put on a 30 minute timer or an hour timer because I cannot sleep in the dark and the quiet. So I will usually put on like Modern Family or How I Met Your Mother, or I'll go to YouTube and put on the black screen thunderstorm noises and then put it on timer for 30 minutes or an hour. And then I usually lay down and fall asleep at some point between that 30 minutes and an hour. It's what is my biggest regret, being a homebody. I wasn't always a homebody. Um, I used to like to be outside. But once my father got sick and I took on the role of parenting him, I was just always tired or depressed. So I was just always in the house. And that would be my regret to still, to, to not have been in the house, to still have been doing things that I should have been doing at 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Um, so that would be my biggest regret, just not living young and free. Young and dumb, I'll say. Yeah. The next question is, what is your favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory, honestly, would probably be the blackout of 07. In 07, I was probably like nine, maybe 10. And I believe it was 07. It was either 07 or 03 that Detroit had that citywide blackout. And I just remember my dad had the old school vans, like the kidnapper vans, but pimped out. And I and try and put a picture here. But he had one of those vans, and I remember the power was out over the whole city. I don't know if it was the whole state or the whole city, but the whole city most definitely. And we were riding around looking for ice, and we were riding up Jefferson, and everybody was outside listening to their music and barbecuing, and we ended up going over my cousin house and just chilling with them and just having fun and just being a kid. Like, the power was out, so the parents was outside. They were barbecuing. We were just having fun. Question would be, the next question is describe your style. Right now, my style is non-existent. Um, and that is because I used to dress crazy. I used to wear the craziest things and just dress. And then as I got older, I kind of got too many styles. So not, and then the pandemic happened, and then it became all jogging pants, baby. Jogging pants were leggings. So now I am just now getting to find my style because I am in between the cozy girl, the businesswoman, eclectic, um, emo, princess, Barbie, Brett's type of thing. So I will say that I am kind of just in the middle of finding my style and finding things that I like or what I like on me and what I don't like on me. Um, and I will probably start a series like that because I just started that finding my style again journey. I will probably start a series for that because I feel like a lot of us are just now trying to find our style after the pandemic. Question is favorite new makeup trend. My favorite new makeup trend would probably be be the softer eyebrows. Like I remember when everyone was doing a thick, harsh eyebrows that were boxed out. And mine's was a little bit, the one too crazy, but a little bit. But I'm happy that people are starting to do like the natural hair brows now, like the cute brows, the demure brows. What is your favorite fall trend? Right now, I think my favorite fall trend is the leggings with the, um, slouch socks is what age did you start wearing makeup i have no clue what age i started wearing makeup it was very young i will say in i remember wearing makeup in elementary school not too much though but i do remember going too far in middle school absolutely um i used to do this one makeup look where it's like one shadow here one shadow in the middle and one shadow at the end. It was never blended, okay? And some of the girls in school used to call it the butterfly. But I remember doing like silver, okay? Blue, like royal blue and then black. 
and when I say black, I mean black. Black as a soul, not my soul, but black. And I remember going to school and my teacher, Mr. Haynes, he was a social studies teacher. He said, your daddy let you come out the house like that? And yes, my daddy fully did let me express my creative self. So he did not care how I came out the house. And he wiped my makeup off and he was like, it's too much. I'm like, bruh, why would you wipe my makeup off though? That was dirty. I don't know what age that was, but I don't remember not ever wearing makeup. Cause I remember my cousin having a makeup set. I always played in her makeup set. Like she had the craziest makeup set. So I really don't remember what age I was. This question is the best beauty products. The best beauty product for me, e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer. I keep wanting to call it the Hydro Grip. The e.l.f. Primer is what would you go back and tell your 13 year old self? I would go back and I would tell my 13 year old self for one be who you are stay weird I'm still weird I never changed that but I used to calm it down a little bit to fit in with certain people but I never lost it but I will go back and tell myself be who you are be be the funniest person in the world because that's who I am. I'm the funniest person in the world, period. Yeah, I don't care what nobody say. Um, I would tell myself to focus on school because you are going to miss it when you graduate. I really want to do school over. So I would go back and tell myself, focus on school. Every, growing up can wait. I would tell myself that the bills can wait. I would tell myself that being grown can wait, period. Be a kid, enjoy being a 13 year old kid. That is all of our questions today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions for me, comment them below. Follow me on Instagram at SB underscore beauty with three underscores at the end. Ask me questions there. 